And welcome back to Let's Play King's Quest 2 Plus. We do a remake of King's Quest 2 by Sierra. Um, long time no see, viewers. Uh, sorry. Real life sort of, uh, caught up with me. Job hunt. Um, if you have a job now. You hear footsteps approaching. Oh dear. I took too long. Uh-oh, the Enchanter has caught you in his lair. He twirls his hands and then utters some words under his breath. You feel a tingling sensation all over your body as the Enchantment transforms you into whatever he desires. Ooh, ooh, a porcupine! An owl! Uh, cat. What an enchanting encounter. Enjoy the rest of your life as his pet. Oh, kitty. Never had it happen before. Um, yeah, so... I've got a job of sorts at the moment, so hopefully I'll be able to catch back up with these videos. Okay, let's have some less fail. You approach the workbench. Okay. You flip through the book entitled The First Half Contained. Okay, I just want to double check the uh, order I put this in. I've already read this, I believe. Okay, first we have to heat a heat a blue mineral and then the yellow vegetable together, and then stir with the white feather, and then drop in the pure crystal. Well, first thing we have to do, because we are not using that, using that would be a bad this thing. Hot. So yeah, what we do is we're going to take this. You managed yes. to dislodge the crystal that had been set within the hilt of the sword almost a millennium ago. You feel a tinge of guilt and wonder what all the past monarchs of Daventry would say if they saw you damaging ancient crown property. They'd probably be disappointed because you're doing this to get a girl. So, in you those earrings? You toss the earrings into the... Yes. And the yellow pants? You toss the sickly yellow flower into the beaker. And then, you strike the blade of your sword against the flint stone. It sparks, and the wick catches a light. You watch, fascinated, as the two unlikely objects melt under the heat of the magical flame. Then we have a green liquid. Next up, white feather. You stir the mixture carefully with the white feather. It soon dissolves in the hot liquid. Okay, next up. We have this. You drop the crystal in and watch, amazed, as the green liquid slowly seeps into it. And last but not least... Heed now these words. Crystal. Perfect. Green is thy hue. Restore. Correct. Guard well my form. Preserve. Protect. Doesn't even You recite rhyme. the words correctly, line for line. And sure enough, only a brilliant emerald remains in the glass beaker. You quickly blow the flame out so as not to overheat the emerald and cause damage to it. Alchemy does not work that way. Picking it up gingerly, you're amazed that the emerald took virtually no time at all to cool. I'm amazed as well. Well, let's come out here. Yeah, we've already messed with the... Uh... The product placements. Now, well, remember they said about holding this in the sun? Well, as you direct the sun's light through the emerald at the snake, you behold a wondrous transformation. <gasps> it's a pretty, pretty Before pony. Before you now stands Yay. a magnificent winged Pegasus. horse. Thank you for freeing me. A horrid enchanter transformed me into that legless thing after I refused to be his steed. Why is that going? He looks at us like, what are you going to do? Um, before I talk to him, uh, some of you that have played the original game might be slightly confused. There was a whole different sequence of events to do in the original game to get the, the white horse. One, there was not the whole lab, 
none of that existed. So with the snake, you had to get by. And you had your dagger and you had a bridle. You threw the bridle at the snake, stay with me here, and it turned into the Pegasus. Probably Jason's, but um, a bit different here, as you can see. And you might think, oh, well, we're already halfway there to get our next gem. No, we still have a long way to go. And I'm probably going to die. Because there's one part where I always die. I think I'm the name Stone. But yeah, let's, uh, let's talk to the pretty pretty pony. That was quite a gamble to refuse an enchanter. True, but I could right. not have accepted, even if I had wanted to. For I am a disciple of the cloud and, and can serve no land dweller. Disciple of the cloud? What does that mean? First, tell me Please what you see of up cloud. here. You take a deep breath, then explain about the door of destiny, well, the gems of nature, and your present quest to locate the growth gem. So, you seek the air gem. Yes, that is right. You know of it? Most certainly. But I you are not able to reach it by any means available to you or any of your kind. I would gladly take you to it. But alas, the enchanter took and hid from me my bridle. Without it, we could search for a thousand years and still never find the cloud spirit. Where did he hide your bridle? I do not know. Perhaps a clue may be found in that black arch abode behind me. But why do you have a bridle? I don't know why you have a bridle. Does it make sense? Oh, excuse me. You unroll the magic carpet, lay it on the ground, and... Magic carpet. In my the room. carpet begins to descend. Yes, the carpet looks like it's on your one. Anyways. I'm not sure if there's actually a hint back in the uh, enchanter's place. I don't really care, because I never will go. Whether or not I can get us there is a completely different subject. Okay, saving because I always die here. You have run into an evil enchanter. He senses the power of your emerald and quickly departs. Yeah, you, you get yourself out of here. So, yeah, the enchanter can't do anything to us anymore. Okay, it's supposed to be one, two, three. Is this one? You bend over and hold the emerald above the stones. No, it wasn't That's that the one. danger in getting stone. Hold on a second. Well, down. Yeah, just... Join me in the fail. Try this one. Let's get a five from the left. You bend over and hold it. Nowadays. Incredible. The rock has transformed into a silver studded bridle. Yay. You take the bridle. Okay, let's go. Back to the party. There's not. There is plenty of room here. Let me do it here. I want to go back to the pony. Hello, lady's house. Stop. In the name of love. You unroll the magic carpet, lay it on the ground, and sit on it. The carpet begins to rise skyward. Yeah, you don't have to tell us that every single time. It's, it's no longer miraculous in the magic carpet. As you reach down to get the carpet, it vanishes into thin air without even so much as a puff of smoke. Oh no! We're trapped, only we're not. Unless, you know, we can meet up. But she had So, here's your bridle, horsey. You slip the bridle over the horse's head. It whinnies its approval. Call, oh, climb upon my back. Um, we'll save that for next time. See you then.